The Battlefield 1 open beta opened up last week, and while some server issues delayed me in getting everything done for this video initially, I finally completed the basic benchmarking. Hopefully this video will serve to give you a good understanding of the graphics performance you can expect from this game. So let's jump in. For the benchmarking, in the settings of the game, I had the field of view as high as possible with the Ultra Graphics preset. I did the testing in both DirectX 11 and DirectX 12 and kept all of my gameplay to the Rush map. Unfortunately, since the beta is only multiplayer, it was a bit hard to lock down the experience to make sure the frame rates were consistent across the benchmarking experience, especially with the various in-game weather effects that have been implemented. With regards to the graphics cards, I utilized the PowerColor RX 474GB edition and RX 488GB edition, and then Galax EXOC flavor 1066GB, 1070, and 1080. And without further ado, let's take a look at the numbers. At 1080p in DirectX 11, all cards managed over 60fps. I previously mentioned the benchmarking process being difficult to lock down, and the DX11 result for the RX 480 shows that, with it showing roughly the same average as the 470. Moving over to DX12 at 1080p, the RX 470 saw an inconsequential 1 FPS drop, the 480 saw an increase of 3.5 FPS, and the interesting part is that the GTX 1060 lost 17 FPS, the 1070 lost 7, and the 1080 lost 14. Definitely not a good showing in DX12 by Team Green. At 1440p in DX11, the AMD cards were just over 55 FPS, with the 480 nearly averaging 60 and the 1060 going just above. And then the 1070 and 1080 each provided some fantastic average FPS. DX12 shakes things up again with each card dropping their average FPS. The 470 lost 10, the 480 lost 7, the 1060 lost 12 to place below the RX 480, and the losses on the 1070 and 1080 are 12 and 11 FPS respectively. Moving on to 4K DirectX 11, the RX 470 was roughly playable at a 25 FPS average. The 1060 is still above the 480 with a 2 FPS advantage, however the 1080 wasn't even able to manage a 60 FPS average at this resolution. DirectX 12 at 4K pushed the RX 480 to completely unplayable with an average FPS of 14, an 11 FPS loss. The 480 drops 4 FPS to a sub 30 FPS average, as does the 1060, which retains a half FPS advantage. The 1070 lost 11 FPS, and the 1080 lost 9. As I mentioned earlier, the multiplayer unpredictable nature of the Battlefield 1 beta can distort the benchmark numbers. However, all of this should be a good starting point for figuring out for your system. If you think one of my numbers is way off, please let me know down below in the comments. But I did my best to ensure everything was as reproducible as possible. At 1080p, it appears that there's a slight advantage for AMD cards to switch on to DX12, although that may be on a case-by-case -case basis. The DX12 implementation doesn't appear to be a performance boost across the board for either team. However, do not, under any circumstance, at least at this point, turn on DirectX 12 if you're running an NVIDIA GPU. Your frame rate will suffer for it, tremendously more than for an AMD card. The good news is that it appears that even going for a cheaper card, such as the RX 470, which is in there, should yield you decent 60 plus FPS gaming at 1080p, even on the highest detail settings. And with that, I'd like to thank Wootware for sponsoring this video by providing all of the graphics cards that were used for the benchmarks. If you're in South Africa, Wootware should be your go-to computer retailer with a wide variety and tremendous pricing on basically every computer component. With great brands such as PowerColor, Galax, Zotac, and Fantex, Wootware has you covered with fantastic parts in every category. So if you're in South Africa, head on over to wootware.co.za to woot up your system. The link is in the video description. And that wraps it up for this quick performance analysis on the Battlefield 1 open beta. Like this video if you found it helpful at all, dislike it if you disagree with me or anything that I said. Let me know down in the comments if you have any game suggestions on things that will be released soon that you want me to benchmark in a similar manner. You can subscribe to stay up to date on all of my tech related content including the reviews coming out on the PowerColor GPUs. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.